Welcome to This Is It. Now, you might be asking, what is it? Here's the amazing thing. For it can be different for a lot of people. But for us, the it is seeing people, enjoying people and seeing people living in a relationship with the Heavenly Father. Maybe for the first time or maybe for the first time in a long time. And in that relationship, they discover their purpose, a new way of life, a life that is rooted in the love of our Father. And the best way we know how to respond to that is through music to our Heavenly Father and through our stories. Essentially, seeing people find their it. So, won't you join me and some friends in the other room?
name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety. To every soul held captive by depression. I speak Jesus. Your name is power. I'm 
Give you my 
than I could ask or seek, more than I could fathom. God, your love for me, it's better than I imagined. More than I could ask or seek, more than I could fathom. God, your love for me is better than I imagined. More than I could ask or see, more than I could fathom. God, your love for me is better than I imagined. More than I could ask or see, more than I could fathom. God, your love for me. My name is Alda. My husband is Franz. I've got a son and recently a new daughter. My earliest childhood memories is that of alcoholism and abuse. I was not a happy child. I was fearful, um, anxious and a very low self-esteem. As life progressed, my um, constant life companion was fear and I had to rely on medication. 2010, Franz got very sick and my life really spiraled out, out of control. I suffered um, 
um, having panic attacks and um, your yeah, life was not good at all. Then I met a lady, Nikki. She introduced me to the power of the Holy Spirit. And for the first time, I experienced something that I did not know of um, because I had religion. I had no relationship with God. Then I went out and I bought my first Amplified Bible and started spending time in the Word, coming across verses, John 10:10, 10, 10, that I've come to give you life and abundance. And I had no abundance. And Timothy, 2 Timothy 7, 1. I do not have a spirit of fear, I've got love, I've got power and a sound mind. I did not have that. And um, twenty thirteen brought a major setback for me. We had incredible family issues. I felt very responsible and became suicidal. My work was affected and uh, my boss called me in and Shentel invited me to church. At church there was an altar call and um, I went and I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. This was an amazing experience and I wanted more. Then I heard about an event called The Happening and I had the urge to go. Um, Franz and I went and for both of us it was an amazing life-changing event. Um, for the first time in my life I felt accepted, um, there was no judgment um, and the, 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 the love, it was, it was actually overwhelming that we experienced. And this is where for the first time that I realized that as a family we were isolating and God has made us social beings. We need interaction and we need to be part of a group or church. So back home again, uh, we joined the Waypoint Community Church and um, I actually staffed at Wamberland, our kiddie section at church and um, we joined the life group and this group of people, they really become your family and we do life together. By 2016, it was like there was still something missing and doing a lot of teachings I realized that it was water baptism. Um, I spoke to Jacques, our pastor, and we discussed it and I was water baptized. This was absolutely to me the cherry on the cake. My life changed and for the first time in my life I really experienced that abundance and I was joyful and I had peace and the cloak of shame is finally gone and for me it was I am a new creation in Christ. Baptism was down with the old and up with the new. Um, for the first time in my life I realized that God wants a personal relationship with me, an intimate relationship with me and I never had that. And um, now I know that he is my number. He is first in my life. I can actually hear myself saying, um, or like I used to say, my child is my everything, my husband is my everything, and it's not. God is my everything. He is the reason that I'm here. And um, for the first time in my life, I can really say that I'm happy, I feel free, and um, that the abundant life that I've learned about, I have now. Does this mean my life is fear-free, worry-free? No, it's not. I still experience the same emotions, but now I know what to do with it. I run to Holy Spirit. Um, God is our creator, and He created us as emotional beings. And now the best thing is that I know who to go to and ask for help, Holy Spirit helps me deal with all these emotions. And 2 Timothy 1.7, I do not have a spirit of fear. I've got love, I've got power and a sound mind. Became the most important verse in my life. This has really changed me, that I can rely on God fully. 
I would love to invite you to come and see and taste for yourself that God is good and He wants personal relationship with you. He loves us immensely. When I first heard Zelda, or Tani Zelda, she's, as I know her, when I first heard her story, two things really came to the forefront and two things made this story awesome for me. Now the first was, one of the clear-cut themes through that testimony is how a life that filled with fear, anxiety and depression, how that life changed once it met the love. Of Jesus. Once Jesus' love and Jesus, the person who he is, became a reality for her. And then the second, the second part is something that we often gloss over. Is she was in a place where she was in, had fear, anxiety, depression, she had this stuff, but she didn't know how to deal with it. But in her mind, she thought she was a Christian. She thought that, you know. I, I, I say I'm a Christian, I tick the box, that that is enough. But as we see in a story, once Jesus becomes a reality, everything changes. It's not just good enough to, to tick a box. You need a relationship with Jesus. And the relationship with Jesus is what changes everything. And this brings me in, in, to a, a part that that's really on my heart. And this is one of my favorite parts of all the Bible. Uh, this part is found in the Gospel of John. John, one of the disciples, wrote this Gospel. And this is where Jesus prays, get this, not for the people there, for the Jews or for the Gentiles. No, this prayer, Jesus was actually praying for the future generations, for us, for you. And this is what he prays. He's come to the end, almost to the end of his time on earth and he knows what's about to happen. And he takes the time and, and John takes the time to record this prayer because it's so important. This is what Jesus prays to God. He says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that your son may glorify you. Just as you have given him power and authority over all mankind so that he may have eternal life and give eternal life to all you have given him and to which point at this stage this was a new concept the concept of eternal life was not known at that stage and and many of you might be asking the same question as as his audience and and, and people in those times would have asked now jesus what is eternal life and and just how amazing he was and how brilliant he was he anticipated this in his prayer and and he answers them, and this is, the, this is the kicker. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Jesus says that eternal life is to know God. A relationship with God, an intimate relationship with God. And like Zelda said so beautifully, a relationship which you can go to God with everything and talk and converse with Him and, and have a, 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 a relationship that sometimes it's, it's, it's easy and sometimes you know you, you gripe with stuff but that relationship is eternal life and you know what is amazing about knowing and having eternal life is that everything in this world gets on a new perspective. The troubles that you face in this world, the, the emotions that you face, the, the thoughts and the doubts that have been keeping you back all these years get a new perspective once you are stepping in eternal life, aka a relationship with God. So I want to invite you today, if, if this is something you've never pursued before, if this is something you've, you've You've, you've heard, but it's never sunk in. I want to encourage you to reach out. If you're on church online, reach out to, to um, and, and request, give a prayer request. If you're in the comment section, um, let us know who you are and we'd love to reach out to you. Or go to our website and reach out to someone. Someone will be ready to reach out to you. And I want to encourage you as we go into a final song, these words, I want to encourage you to sing these words with us. Let these words sink in your heart. 
my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love, standing in that relationship. Let me pray for us. Thank you, Father, that we get to stand in your love freely and boldly. Thank you, Father, that you are knocking on the door of our hearts. And Father, that a relationship with you is just a conversation away. It's just a moment away. Father, I pray for those of you who, um, for those of us who, are, who have this yearning on our heart, Father, for something bigger, a yearning on our heart, for, Father, for something true, for someone. Father, yearning for maybe a father. Father, that you will come and you will, that they will answer the knock that you are on their door. And Father, that, that we would start to trust you and start to open our hearts to you and to a relationship with you. Amen. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I'm standing your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I'm standing your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I'm Free.
victory in every storm. Christ in me has overcome. so much for tuning in we love to have you here um, even though it's not here but online remember next week love dates and heartbreaks don't miss it invite everyone you know we'll see you then cheers